Hey guys, February 26, 2021. Uh, this is part two of the uh, horizontal hive winter collapse. This is this video is gonna be really quick. I just want to show you something um, because I went today frame by frame frame by frame and the only conclusion that I can come out to with this is condensation condensation was the problem and I really have uh, more than a few ideas to correct that problem but even ideas are uh, uh, when I'm gonna keep the bees in that uh, in that hive uh, I'll go the great lengths to make sure that the girls won't die uh, because I, I, I do take the full responsibility for what happened um, anyway like I said before uh, I'm just a regular guy I don't have a crew following me around just to make things look good so camera's gonna be shaking and stuff like this and so on and so forth but let me show you something. Uh, I want you to look at my sink. It's clean. There's nothing there. Why well, I did that? Because uh, I'm going to shake the frame the way some of you maybe do that uh, when you're collecting your honey at the end of the season. Uh, and not everything is capped if you take your frame and give it a good shake if nothing comes out that means it's you know cure enough so you can bottle it um, but if stuff comes out obviously it's not cured enough um, the stuff that's not capped so uh, I'm doing the same method over here because I want to show you uh, what happens. Those frames, the frame that you see here, and you're gonna see the other frames in two seconds. They've been shaking at least three times. Each frame, been shaking at least three times, and still water comes out. So as you can see this lot of honey here but <sighs> let me put this away <laughs> give me one second guys Sorry for that, but I want you to take a look at the sink right now. Look how much water. There is. It's a lot moisture. And... I think I did it's a couple things obviously uh, not enough ventilation because the bees close those little gaps which I need to make them bigger and the second of all I think when I put my uh, winter feed uh, the sugar was not dry enough there must have been moisture in there because as this being a liquid I can taste a little bit of sugar in it. It's not sticky whatsoever. It's not sticky, but it's when and I lick it, I can taste a little bit of uh, 
of a sugar. So I think my feed that I put on had moist, a lot of moisture in it. And you know, as you know, when they uh, in the winter time when the bees flap their wings and eat, they sweat. And uh, I think a lot of moisture came out of that sugar and uh, had nowhere to go. Just came out on the frames and the bees died. So they had plenty of food, like I said. And normally I'm getting another three packages this year. Um, normally I would take those frames and use it for the new bees because obviously natural stuff is better than sugar water when you feed it them. But uh, when I carry the frames inside of the house today, uh, it's anywhere between 55 or maybe 50 to 60 pounds of honey, that's what I think. And I, uh, I decided to spin it. So, uh, all the frames that you just saw that so much water that came out out of this even being shaken so much I brought it underneath the staircase put my uh, dehumidifier on and uh, let it run for a day or so and I'm gonna spin it let me show you how that looks Fire running underneath it, and there are all the frames right here. A lot of honey. So, hopefully, that's gonna go well, but this will happen too much conversation. I will update the update the um, hive what I did to it. I'm gonna do some modifications and once I do I will show you that because when the girls were uh, doing the thing in the regular season they had no problems. It's just the winter and you can see things that even uh, with the pollen is there's saturated with water as well but I'm gonna spend that let you know how it come out Thanks for watching. If you can subscribe, please do so. If you can just leave a like, that would be awesome. God bless and uh, stay safe.